to Rigging for Animation. And this, I just want to review Bone Parent and Bone Parent Relative when it comes to rigging. Bone Parent is pretty much just a direct object parent to a single bone. So I have this really simple rig right here with these two other bones connected to it. And if I move this root around, I move around the children. If I select on this blue monkey over here and shift select on this bone out here, and I just do control P and I do a bone parent. Now this bone will actually move that blue monkey over there. Here's where bone parent can be destructive though. If I hit tab and I go to edit mode and I just move this bone's location and I hit tab again and go back to pose mode, it changes the monkey's position relative to where the bone's static position is. So just something to keep in mind when you're using bone parent, if you change the edit position, you change the object position. So if you want to change the edit position, but let the object remain where it is, you actually have to unparent the object, clear parent, go to the rig, move the edit position, go back to the object, shift select on the bone and parent it again. Just something to keep in mind when you're working with bone parenting. Okay, let's go over here to bone relative. So if I select on this green monkey, and select on this controller here, and I do control P, and I do bone relative, same thing. I move the bone and it moves that monkey's location. Now, with this bone, if I go to edit mode and I move its location and I go back to pose mode, the green Suzanne here has remained in the same location. And that is the power of bone relative. But there's one little bug. So right now, This monkey right here has a bone relative to this bone here. If I take this red object here, this red monkey, and I shift select on the bone here and I do control P and I just do bone, it moves the green monkey. So if you have bone relative and a bone parent on the same control, it'll actually break. Now, I think this is a bug. I'm just gonna unparent this and I'll show you how I got to that again. I'll unparent this. So if I select on the green Suzanne here and I shift select on the bone and I do control P, if I do bone relative. Now, if I select on the red monkey here and I do the same thing, control P, but I do bone, it snaps that location. And I think it's because a bone cannot contain two matrix offset positions at the same time. But I've actually gone ahead and logged this as a bug with the Blender community, so hopefully this gets fixed. But it's just something to keep in mind when you're working with bone and bone relative. Personally, I tend to only use a bone parent just because of this bug. I just find that it's far more reliable and I don't wanna have things break on me when I'm in the middle of rigging. Here's how I get around this though. I'm gonna hit tab and I'm gonna duplicate this bone and I'll parent this bone to it. So now this bone moves both and then this one moves this here. But what, since this is a parent though, I can move this location anywhere and that can be my new pivot and I'm not breaking the default position of that parent. Again, this is all sort of a stopgap to deal with the bone relative issue, uh, but it's just something to keep in mind when you're rigging. So that's the basics of bone parenting in Blender. You can download this file as well if you want. It's on my Gumroad account. Um, and hopefully this going forward, I'll be using bone parent a lot in some tutorials, but this is just a general overview of bone parenting. Bye-bye.